Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't already know me, my name is Yasmin and I'm 17 years old. So I'm coming at you guys from my kitchen because today's video is going to be all about reorganizing my house. I'm going to be doing an entire reorganization because honestly, I'm not loving how the house is right now. I do consider myself a very clean and neat, organized person, but this quarantine, it's the house is going really out of hand. It's gotten really messy, so I'm just I'm not happy about that, and I wanted to reorganize it. And the thing is, I decided to make this into a YouTube video because I enjoy watching these videos so much. Like, I don't know why I get so much satisfaction out of seeing something super messy turn into something super clean. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen because we're going to be starting off with the kitchen. And this is the most place in the house that needs organization. Like, it stresses me out, especially because you're in the kitchen 24-7 because when you're eating and stuff. So it just annoys me that things are, like, all over the place. And I just wanted to, like, clear my head, you know. And the most place that annoys me is this cabinet over here that's what we're gonna be starting with it's like the pantry basically where we keep everything and the thing is every time i organize it like i come back two days later and it's just messy again okay so we're starting off with this cabinet guys brace yourself this is the most place i despise in the entire kitchen the pantry it's just it's so messy there's just no flow going on here and it just kind of really annoys me and like literally we just had to put some things over here the past two days because there hasn't there has not been any place here even though there's enough place so yeah we're just gonna start off with this okay so i don't know if this is focused but the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take everything out of here wiping down the cabinet before I start putting things back in and the last shelf I'm just gonna do that at the end because everything that ugh, because everything that's there should be there but I just want to reorganize it but those things were like just all over the place okay so firstly I don't know why we have like literally a million boxes of tea when when the last time I reorganized this, I made it so clear that all the tea belongs in here, but basically that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be putting all the tea in that box, so it just makes more sense than having like a million tea boxes to have it all in one box, right? Okay guys, so I'm done with that. I wasn't able to close, so I just put it down here, but I don't think that's a problem. But something that I realized, I was just going through everything here because I separated like all the jars, all the seasonings and all of that. And something that I realized is that there are so many unnecessarily unnecessarily unnecessary items like like there are two jars in this cafe one is literally empty and one is full like just put them together you know like why are there two whole jars i just i don't get it but anyways that's what i'm gonna be doing first i'm literally just gonna be getting rid of all the unnecessary things so oh my god it smells so good see so this jar was bigger and this is smaller and whatever was in here fits in here so i can just like rewash this and repurpose it like for example we literally have a million bags of nuts i don't know why they're in bags like we bought them from the grocery store in bags but you can literally just put them in something that's not bags like i don't know why we just left them but anyways so i'm just gonna wash this and fill it with something else because recycling reusing you know yeah we literally have like a million of these so i'm just gonna be repurposing everything So it just makes more sense this way plus it's better than having everything in like plastic bags and just like all over the place than to have it like neatly in a jar and like have everything like in its place you know okay so what i did here i separated everything into what i'm gonna go what i'm gonna put on the second shelf what i'm gonna put on the first shelf and what i don't know what i'm gonna do with but i'm gonna see depending on like the space that i have left in like those two shelves Okay, so basically anything that's going on the second shelf is like the things like sweets and snacks and things like that that like you don't need like easy reach for because like you don't really care that much. But everything that goes on the first shelf is things that you're going to use like in everything like teas, coffees, um, sugar, spices like while you're cooking because like you don't need to like reach to the end of the cabinet, you know, like it's like right here and things like that. So that's kind of what I'm going to be organizing my cabinet based on, you know? Okay, so this is how the first shelf turned out and this is like things like I said that you use like every single day, spices and whatever. And then this is like more snacks related, like everything here is like snacks or like jams, nuts, popcorn, like 
whatever and then this is the shelf that we use for baking and we never touch this shelf so i'm just gonna reorganize it because honestly it's it's scary <laughs> okay so i just fixed it up a little bit but the thing is again i don't understand what the obsession with so many bags like but the thing is i'm not gonna like repurpose them into other things because um this isn't my cabinet like i don't bake my sister bakes and i don't want to play around with her things okay so the next part that we're moving on to is the cabinets with like the cups and the plates and everything it's just because i mean it's neat i just don't like the flow of it you know but what doesn't make sense is that all the mugs and the cups are here because you just kind of have to like reach out of your way to like get everything over here and i feel like when you're right-handed it just kind of makes more sense that everything's on the right hand you know yeah like i'm not loving this cabinet this cabinet is it's not the worst but it's not the best and then there's all the plates and cups and i feel like everything should just be like together does that make sense Okay, so I took everything out of here and everything out of here except the cups and I put all the mugs over here and all the Tupperware and storage related things over here and something that I noticed is that they are never in one place like this is the next cabinet that I'm gonna do guys this cabinet literally scares the hell out of me there's so much going on but as you guys can see there's like six trillion Tupperware so I was thinking since Tupperwares are not something that you want to use all the time then it would just make more sense if they were all here you know so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take some of them out of here all the ones over here and put them over here oh my goodness guys while I was doing this cabinet I just made an amazing discovery so I thought the cabinet ends here but it literally goes all the way back and the thing is I have these two plates this bowl and uh, these two whatever I don't know what they're called crambolet whatever things and the thing is I only use them for pictures like if I'm picturing my food because I do that sometimes <laughs> and um, I don't like use them every day so I wanted a place to put them and then I just realized that I can put them with all the plates in the bowls but in the corner because there's so much space that I just didn't know existed okay guys so this area is more or less unchanged I just have like my uh, the plates that I just talked about over there and the last shelf is empty and then over here we have the cups i just left some space over here because we have more cups but they're just in the dishwasher i put the mugs over here and then the rest of the mugs over there with my cute little milk bottles but those mugs are like the same color so i decided to like put them over here and then the last and definitely my favorite is this one because i literally just took all the tupperwares and put them over here because i don't know it just makes more sense to me you know what i mean and lastly the worst part of the kitchen this cabinet this cabinet is literally where we keep the random things like pots and pans and and trays and like bags that we just reuse because we love the environment and like toilet paper and and like why why does it look like this you know like it could just be so much neater guys trust me it was worse i think i showed you guys in a clip earlier how like uh, there were like a million um, Tupperwares in here and then I removed them and I put them in the cabinet. Basically, yeah, we're gonna fix this area. Okay guys, so I'm done with this. Basically what I did was I laid everything down like the trays and stuff because it used to always annoy me how they were standing up because the second you remove something everyone with everything would fall down so I mean it just makes more sense this way. And then I just stacked the pots and everything like that and basically what I did on the bottom drawer I just again laid the laid this down it just makes more sense and i just stacked all of these and i have a plastic bag full of the other plastic bags everyone should have a plastic bag full of plastic bags because when you are cooking or something and you need to throw away something that could potentially smell it's better to throw it in a plastic bag than wrap that up and then throw that plastic bag in a garbage bag okay guys so next we are moving on to the bathroom i am in my bathroom right now so basically it's just this little stand over here that really bugs me because it could be like seven trillion times neater and there's literally just a missing shelf over there with nothing on it so i'm just gonna be working on that okay so anything hair related like the hair dryer the curler the straightener and everything i'm just gonna put them in the third shelf that was empty because I always do my hair in the bathroom so I'm not gonna keep them in my room and um, it's kind of annoying where like because there are so many wires and everything to have it like all up in my stuff so I'm just gonna put it on its own shelf because that just seems like it makes the most sense so I think I'm just gonna put everything hair related on one shelf but I don't know we'll see as we go so for example things like this that holds my curls I don't use it anymore because I have short hair now and I'm in quarantine so I don't really care that much about how my curls 
hold <laughs> um so if i'm not using it that often i'm just gonna put it here and things like my hair mousse when i'm doing like sleek hairstyles i don't use it that often only use it once in a while so i don't need it up here like in my reach so i'm just gonna be putting those down here other things like this it also holds my curls and things like that okay well actually i do have my other cabinet in here that i did want to reorganize and show you guys but basically i just pulled some things out of there like more hair products that i use like every single day so it just kind of makes more sense that i put it here instead of putting it in the cabinet because it's just kind of like easy access like i can just grab it and go so um yeah i'm not going to be putting things down here and i also grabbed like my moisturizers and things that i use every day so febreze up here need it every day moisturizer okay i would recommend every single person to have like, a scented powder like for your hair or for your skin or for something i feel like it's so much better like after the shower like you know how some people put baby powder after the shower i like to have like a scented one and also i would just like to point out that this this hair product any garnier products are literally my favorite hair products because they're the only ones that seem to work for my hair i mean as you guys can see i have like curly hair it's usually curlier but after a few days it just kind of dies down and this helps so much with frizz and nutrition and especially because i have a really dry hair for some reason i don't know why even though i like take a lot of care of it this is the triple nutrition hair serum and you just put it after the shower and it leaves your hair smelling amazing and super soft and i can really really see a big difference after i started using like garnier products for my hair so i would highly recommend it to you guys okay so since i do have some space left on my third shelf where i'm putting like my hair products that i use but not use every single day that's where i'm going to be putting like my styling products like my teaser my um, comb my like the things that hold my hair I actually have these from like my box size because I used to dye box my hair all the time okay things like razors that I might need I always keep them on my top shelf because when I'm in the shower because my shower is like literally right here when I'm in the shower and sometimes when I need a new razor and then I don't want to like get out of the shower and go into my cabinet and get them so I always keep them like up here because I can just literally grab one and go <laughs> Hey guys, so this is the next item that I'm putting on my um, everyday use shelf and the thing is I recommend every single person I mean if you're a girl or if you like a guy and have long hair to have like a bandana that just pushes everything out of your face Like when you're doing your makeup or when you're doing your morning routine or your night routine It literally saves your life because if you're like me and you have curly hair and then like you fix it up or something and then water comes on it it just ruins everything so literally this is my lifesaver i use it every single day like religiously so i would recommend that i'm basically done with this my sister isn't home right now um but she's coming back so all her things are gone and i think there's like enough space for everything so i'm kind of glad with how this turned out i'm just gonna show you guys so this is how it is everything i use every single day right there easy access second lady products third hair products i'm not loving this shelf that much but this is how it is and like honestly i'm fine with it if i'm not going to be using it every day and yep this is the last shelf with all the towels so yeah i think this is pretty okay i like how it's looking it's so much neater and i'm glad about that Okay guys, so the next thing we're moving on to is the cabinet inside this mirror. I love this mirror because it glows and you can do your makeup perfectly. But what's inside this mirror is quite scary. It's just it's just not as neat as I want it to be. My dad is here, so this is like his things up there. I'm not going to touch them, but this is all mine. And I mean, this, this just isn't me. My mom would be pretty disappointed, so I'm going to be fixing this. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I did is take everything out and I'm just gonna wipe this cabinet down because it just needs some cleaning. I have so many like little bags and so we're having like little makeup bags or like little storage compartments or anything literally saves your life. Oh my god, if you guys watched my um, week in my life, I literally mentioned that I ran out of makeup so I used like an old foundation as my concealer and I'm just gonna be throwing this entire thing away because first of all, that's nasty and second of all, um, it's empty so like I literally have no use for it anymore. Okay guys. So I'm just grabbing things that belong in the bags like for example this belongs in the makeup bag and I have this like little thing where I put all my like tweezers or like the thread that I use for like threading and things like that and I always keep them in one bag so I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna put this all in here okay you know what I have an extra bag in this bag so I think I'm just gonna keep all these little like pharmacy things all my little medicines or things that i use every single day that are super tiny that i want to take out of my box and put them in this little bag because again i do use them like a lot but i don't use them every day so i don't see the point 
Okay, so this is all I did and I think it's like perfect because as you guys saw before like everything was on top of each other But now it just shows how like organizing shows you that you have so much space like I have space here I have space here, but I didn't think it existed next we are moving on to my desk and it is not looking its best right now everything is all over the place if you guys are if you guys are wondering why I have like literally six trillion USBs it's because they are my lifesavers like um, there are so many things or like resources from like high school or from IB or anything that I do in uni that I need to reuse and I keep everything on my USBs because you never know when you're gonna need them and this has literally saved me so much trouble when it comes to studying so guys do not go to uni without your USBs trust me you need them okay guys so I'm done I always keep anything I might need if they pee right in the front usually i keep my jewelry or my waxes in their boxes my waxes my watches in their boxes but um sometimes i just need something super quick and i don't want to go through all my like jewelry drawers so i just keep it over here anything in the back is like earphones cards whatever keys things that i don't usually use like especially because i'm done with school i don't need any of these my glasses or whatever and finally i have a little compartment with my usbs and my pens and stuff and everything that i don't use again it's in the back like paper clips pens and like whatever that i like literally never use and basically that is that i'm just gonna leave this entire space over here because every single day there's always something that i need to throw in here and i just want a space for that so i can keep it neat i want to get rid of like this entire thing i'm just gonna take all of these things and put them in another drawer so i took out all my backpacks my purses and all that stuff out of this drawer i wiped it down and now that's what i'm gonna fill this drawer with i'm gonna fill it with all these things I know it still looks like messy and there's so much going on but I have not seen it this empty in a long time okay so basically what I did I put everything on a hanger like and in some places I just put more than one thing like if it could fit and now like I put it in a way where I can see everything at the same time and just pick what I want those are like the last two piles that I'm gonna fold and I'm not gonna hang them because they're like t-shirts and crop tops so they're like not meant to be hanged okay guys so i am finally done reorganizing my closet as you guys saw i literally have the tiniest closet ever and most of um your closets and dorm rooms are gonna be like that they're gonna be like really small so this is what i did with my closet i'm so happy with how it is because the floor is finally like empty and i just put everything in baskets and uh, like for example these are all my winter things these are all like my books bags everyday things and then i just put the rest of the t-shirts that um i was gonna leave here i just put them in a little basket and guys literally for all of you that are gonna be living in dorms or you have like a small closet having baskets is literally like or like a storage box is like a lifesaver because I don't know it just makes everything so much better and like everything is separated into its own like section I even have like a little basket here for my day to day things and my nightstand is actually in my closet because um, there was no space in my room but that's fine and like I showed you guys what I have here is like my PJs my socks and all of that jazz the reason that I think this is like a perfect way to put everything in your closet if you have a small closet is because if you have space on the floor then you can put your shoes there I have a second closet which is like the all-purpose closet where is where I put my shoes so I'm not gonna do that, but this would be like the perfect way to do it. Okay guys, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed recording it. I swear, I don't know why, but I get such satisfaction with cleaning, cleaning videos. I don't know why, but I just, I love them. I really enjoyed doing this. If you guys enjoyed it, like I wouldn't mind if you guys wanted me to do more because honestly, I had fun with this. So yeah, guys, as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video if you enjoyed it. And again, as always, if there's anything that you guys ever want me to record or blog about or post about or whatever it is, let me know in my DMs or let me know in my comments down below and I am more than happy to do it. So I'll see you guys next week.